my name is Chad Hart and I'm an Extension Economist with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And today we're going to talk about an introduction into crop marketing. When looking at marketing, marketing is a series of events and services that are used to create, modify, and transport a product. So when talking about marketing here, we could be talking about corn, soybeans, cattle, hogs, but the process basically works the same way. We're looking to develop a product and bring it from producers to consumers. Now there are a lot of different steps that are being taken within the marketing process. It's not just, if you will, the buying and selling. It's also the planning, the production, the inspection, transportation, storage, the processing, and then the sale of the product. All of that goes on within the marketing chain. But for the most part, we're going to concentrate with these series of videos on the sale of the product. How product is being sold within the agricultural marketplace. Now there are also a lot of different market players and this is why we do see a lot of action within crop markets. You not only have producers who are, have produced the product and want to sell the product, but you have elevators and ethanol plants and, and feed mills, users of the product that are involved within the market as well. And then you also have speculators in there. And speculators are looking to profit off the price movements within the market. And so all these different players bring a different aspect to the market. And that's what allows us to see the rich variety of prices that we see within a marketplace. Now as far as marketing tools, what we're going to concentrate on are four basic types of tools that help create the market moves that we see. And in fact, whenever you see more complicated marketing strategies, what they are a combination of these four tools. First tool is the basic cash sale that a producer makes where he basically delivers the product and receives the money on that day. The second tool that we'll talk about is a forward contract, which is like the cash sale with the only difference being that the product, instead of being delivered today, would be delivered at some point that's specified in the future. The third tool are commodity futures and this is the one where most people have heard of commodity futures. They recognize that Chicago is the place where we see those prices being posted for your futures. What a futures contract is, is it's a contract that is set up that says you're going to deliver a certain product at a certain period of time to a certain location for a certain price. And in this case, we talk about them as futures because that date, if you will, the time of delivery is usually sometime in the future. And it differs from a forward sale in that you don't receive the money necessarily today, but you also receive that sometime in the future. And then the fourth tool that we talk about are commodity options. What options are, are they are options on the futures. And so in this case, when we trade an options contract, we're not trading an option on corn or an option on soybeans, but we're trading an option on corn futures. What a futures contract is, is it's the right to either buy or sell a commodity futures at a given point in time for a given price. And we'll talk about these more in detail in further videos. Looking at marketing targets as far as, you know, what's, what's a successful marketing plan look like? There are many ways to measure successful marketing. But some of these ways are more meaningful than others. A lot of people get caught up in the ideas we're always trying to reach the highest price. And while that would be very nice to do, it's also a very hard thing to do because no one knows how prices are going to move in the future. So the idea of trying to capture the highest price is a very hard target to reach indeed. And so I prefer to look at marketing targets that talk about more about what's going on within the business, and in this case, within the farm. First and foremost, when I look at a marketing target, one of the biggest things is making sure that we cover our expenses. Because if we're not covering our cost within our marketings, then we're not being able to, to run that business because we're constantly running behind in terms of our cash flow needs, in terms of being able to cover our bills. Again, this is a business where we have to cover our expenses. Second thing we need to look at is the longer term profitability of the business. In this case, when I look at successful marketing, that means I've got a business that has continued to build and grow over time. And that means I've been able to reach some sort of profitability level in the long term. It's not that each and every transaction makes a profit, but when I look over the history of my marketing moves, have I put together a listing that has created profit over the long run and that keeps me in business as we go forward. 
And so over the course of these next videos that you'll see, we'll cover a lot of these tools looking at crop marketing, how you might utilize them to create a successful farm business going long into the future. And with that, I want to thank you for starting to view these series of videos on crop marketing. And I look forward to the questions and comments we might receive as you view these videos. Again, my name is Chad Hart, I'm an Iowa State Extension economist, and I want to thank you for your time. Thank you.